Hey, what's up guys? This is Akul from Android Planet and you guys have been demanding for how does Oreo OS fares on the Mi 4i and I've got a lot of comments on the video for to be released. So here I am today with the video. So with all that being said, let's get started. So starting off with the performance, now I have to say this ROM is totally, totally unmanaged because this ROM has a lot and lot of bugs. Starting with the performance, I have to say the performance is just average compared to MIUI 9 which is right now available for this phone in uh, developer form. I would say the developer form MIUI 9 uh, is far far better from this Oreo update. Don't get me wrong guys, it's okay for day to day uses but as you can see there is a bit of lag while opening up apps and as you can see in this animation of the quick toggles here in the notification panel there is a bit of lag so this OS is not as optimized as it should be like a stock ROM so it requires a lot of updates to be fixed I don't know what the, about uh, after the updates how it will perform but surely if I get, if the update goes well I will make a video on that too so uh, for the performance, I would say the phone is just okay for day-to-day -day uses like if you want to use WhatsApp, Instagram, like YouTube and all, it would fare out well. But with the other apps, uh, heavy apps, this phone might give you a lot of issues. Now, let's go to the another point that is the apps and all in this Oreo. Now, I ha now with one of the bugs in this OS is that the camera app crashes so many times that it is difficult for you to capture any photo. Let's say right now it's showing you uh, that this app's open and let me just now click a photo here. So this will click a photo. Well, just a second guys, it's on the video mode. Let me just go to camera mode. Here's the camera mode. And as you can see, it just got hanged. So the camera app of, on the Oreo OS has a lot of issues. I tried it with the Google camera app, but the result is the same. It gets crashed again and again. With the third party app cameras, it also gets cracked. So there is no use of this OS unless and until you don't use camera a lot. This OS has a lot of bugs with the camera too also. Now let's talk about the other apps like normal WhatsApp, YouTube and all. In that case also, this phone does not is not able to, you know, keep all the apps in memory too. The RAM management of, the fa uh, of this phone is not that great. Like, let's say right now, only two to three apps were there in the RAM management, that would be fine. But yeah, when you go above two to three apps, let's say you have seven, uh, eight apps in the background, this phone is not able to handle all these apps too. I have uh, downloaded a few basic apps like WhatsApp, YouTube Studio, YouTube Snapchat and all. It fair for me, it works out, but yeah, surely this phone requires a lot of updates to be, uh, to be fixed in this phone. Now let's talk about the battery life of this. Now here, I would say there is a slight improvement in the battery life compared to MIUI 9. It would give you a battery life about 5-10% to more than the MIUI 9. But yeah, the problem is this, that once in a day, you have to plug this phone in the charger. It cannot function you for a full working day. Uh, because the battery backup of this phone is not as great, uh, so you have to plug it in once in a while to you know charge up your phone so that it works for you for a full working day now let's talk about the gaming performance now i have tested this uh, phone with a few light games like the lightning race uh, and temple run 2 subway servers and etc and i have to say in the gaming performance the phone did not fare up well like as you can see in this uh, part of the video like right now it's running smooth but yeah sometimes it also shows some laggyness so in gaming, I would say this OS is not as optimized. Now let's talk about the heating issues and all. And yeah, this phone gets a heat a lot, I would say. I don't know because this phone is also having some other issues due to related that this phone is heating or due to the optimization of the OS. I can't guarantee you. But yeah, in my testing, I had to say this phone was beating uh, heating up a lot. The heating was going uh, around 40 to 41 degrees Celsius. Though it's moderate, but yeah, for a common user like me, it felt like the phone was getting too warm too also. Now, let's talk about the overall uh, performance of this OS. I would say, if you are looking for an OS which is not uh, too, you know, great, you just want a stock Android, but want the all the audio features like 
as uh, as you have in the nogad also like quick uh, quick switch between apps the photo app also and all then i would say this os might work for you but there are a lot of bugs in it let's say like the camera app sometimes crashes or doesn't click a photo like right now it's just click the photo let me just try it again here so as you can see it is not clicking photos but yeah it crashes a lot of times and i done a live session with this phone uh, so i will be dropping the links for that live session in the description also so you can have a check on the quality of the camera i found it the camera had a little improvement i don't know why there was an improvement but yeah sure there was an improvement in the camera department of this phone and also and i have to say the it was crashing a lot because in the display i could see a lot of apps which were running in the background which is getting crashed so but thankfully there was no problem while doing live streaming on this phone so overall to conclude i would say this os is not optimized at all it needs a lot of you know updates so that it get fixed and becomes as a fully fledged os which can be used by any user without any issues so right now i would not suggest you to do go and you know install this rom on your phone uh, wait for around 1 to 1 and a half months with some updates if this phone gets uh, fully functional for me too i would be sure in doing a video so that you uh, i could inform you guys and all so i hope you found this video helpful so share it with your friends and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button also do press the notification bell icon so that you get notified each time a new video goes live on our channel so bye bye now you guys have a great day